guys, welcome back to Small Cricket Captain 2018 and part 8 of the road to world number 1 with England and in today's episode we are finishing off the ODI series against Australia. So this should hopefully be the last shortish episode for a little while, although I don't know what the, the fixtures are like. In fact, I, I think they went on to... Um, yeah, well, there's a 20 over match as well. I'm I'm sure. Yeah, the India India matches all the limited over ones uh, take place first. So that's just the way it goes, isn't it? And uh, you know, nice short snappy videos. It's it's nice to to keep up with a series like that. And it, certainly in my experience of watching YouTube anyway. But thank you for all the support on the series so far, and keep your advice coming down in the comments on how to play these darn matches. Um. I'll actually put my headphones on so that uh, I can actually hear what's going on in the games. But um, no, I, I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. And uh, sorry, I haven't got round to doing any of the iOS stuff. Hopefully, we'll get that done uh, sort of early next week, and and we'll maybe start some sort of um, mini series. I'm thinking county cricket. Somebody else is doing the the whole island thing, uh, and I don't really want to step on their toes. So. I think we're gonna name an unchanged lineup in this match. Owen Morgan is the one that's a little bit questionable, but he did play well towards the end of uh, the innings last time out. In fact, I'm gonna bring on Stuart Broad for Wood. I don't think Wood has done particularly well in this series. He's he's had two wickets at an average of 63. So we'll we'll see what Stuart Broad can do, and and obviously Broad can bat a little bit as well. So. Yeah, I think that's the right decision. Let's get into the match. Tails is the call. And we've got the option. We're going to bowl first once again because I think we are just better chasing. Um, I, I, I genuinely do believe that. So that is what we're going to do today. So hopefully you guys are good. We are going to start with uh, Chris Walks to open uh, the bowling with his good mate Ben Stokes today. Um, we'll obviously have Liam Plunkett and Curran bowling as well. Here comes Plunkett in. It is a little bit laggy. I don't really know why that is, but there's not actually much I can do about that. Curran coming in. It's a good stop. Yeah. Six overs each and absolutely nothing happening. Let's bring Stewie Broad in. Broad comes in to Finch, his first ball of the innings, and he's got Finch for 44. All you people who have probably already commented saying Broad shouldn't be in this um, squad. And he's got two wickets. <laughs> Short gone for 57. He's bowled uh, or got out the f uh, two openers who were doing really, really nicely, actually. And um, now Rashid coming in, and he's got a stump, and that's brilliant. He's gone for 17. Uh, and now Australia, 134 for three here. He comes brought in ahead. What a de terrific delivery. Head gone for 13. What is brought on here? And now a potential run out. No, not quite. Um, we'll keep going with Rashid. Right, who who's had the best economy rate? Walks and Plunkett, I guess. Plunkett coming in now to Tim Payne. Not quite. Walks to pain again. Oh, not quite again. Oh, third time lucky. He's gone for 33. That's a big wicket. 184 for 5 now. Plunk it there. Stoyness. Oh, it's gone. Terrific catch. He's gone for a duck. And now Ashton Agar. I think it's Ashton. Yep. Yeah. He, he made his debut something like 2013, yeah, in, that, in the, the test series, and I remember he wasn't very good back then, so don't know how good he is now. Um, Stuart Broad can come in, finish off walks is over. Hey, he got gone for 16. And this is really good stuff from us, and Broad gets another wicket, that's his fourth. This is absolutely fantastic. Walks has used his permitted overs. Let's bring Stokes in now. Stokes to Marsh. He's gone. Uh, sorry, Broad to Marsh. He's gone for 35. Broad gets his fifth wicket. 
and Australia are struggling here. Can we get their final wicket? Yes, Broad gets his sixth wicket. Richardson gone for six. What a fantastic achievement from Stuart Broad. Six for 31. It's an all-time record at Old Trafford. And a new all-time record for England. Best bowling in an inning. Stuart Broad has just come back and he's broke all sorts of records. And we now need 231 to win the series. Here we go. Let's see how we do in this then. Richardson to Roy. That's a good shot to open up his account. And as I say, I'm sorry uh, if it is a little bit laggy on your screen. Four buys there for us. And what a first over. Nine. Um, and we only need four and a half and over. So that was two overs worth there. That's a terrific shot for four. That's another terrific straight drive from Jason Roy. And he's certainly shown why he was uh, brought in last match instead of Bairstow who had a, a tough series um, at that point we're going along very nicely here 44 after the first 8 over so we're going at about 5.8 and over something like that which is really really good well there's a 6 for Alex Hales And another one. Two in a row. And now it's Roy's turn. 19 off the over so far. And we ended up getting another two. 21 off that over. We're 65 without loss now. Yeah, nice pull down to uh, fine leg. Hales going along nicely. That's the first poor shot either of them have played. Oh, they're going for a very risky run, and that's out. Hale's gone for 33. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Joe Root comes in, and I'm, I'm just hoping that doesn't rock the boat too much. Oh, dear. Roy's gone for 35. What's happening here? Two new batsmen at the crease. Just as we were thinking everything was fine and dandy, we lose two quick wickets. Hopefully Root... Ah, he's gone for one. 77 for three all of a sudden. Nathan Lyon to Joss Butler. He plays a lovely shot for four there. And him and Ben Stokes are going to be very, very important in this match. Stokes has almost gone there. I don't know how he wasn't. That's a terrific shot. And we know that once Stokes is in, he can demolish them. Hopefully he'll do just that. There's another great shot for four. That's ten off the over. 99 for three. That's four. Ooh. There's a lot of pressure on here. I feel like if either of these get out, you, you're starting again a worrying territory. But uh, they're playing quite well at the moment, Touchwood. Nice shot. Come on. Oh, straight drive for four. We're playing within ourselves at the moment. That's a terrific sweep for four there. 132 for three. We need 99 at 3.6 and over. So as long as we can sort of get four and over, we'll be easily there. And, and I think that's that's why we can get over the line, because we're not having to be too aggressive. Although Butler's gone, he's out for 19. He never looked comfortable, did he? And now Owen Morgan comes to the crease, desperately in need of a score. Hopefully he can support Ben Stokes. That's 50 for Ben Stokes. He moves on to 51. He's, he's playing incredibly well. That was incredibly close to being the end for Ben Stokes there. But that is a good recovery. Moves into the 60s now. And hopefully Owen Morgan can just play a support role. He's the captain. He knows his responsibilities. 
That's another four for Ben Stokes, and that was seven from that over. 57 more required. We're closing in. Yeah, nice shot from Morgan. Hopefully he can have a little bit of fun as well. And another one. Beautiful from Ben Stokes. What a cover drive that is. 41 runs at virtually three and over. Another four for Ben Stokes. Come on. Terrific from Owen Morgan. And a line to Stokes. That's another one. It was a misfield. 206 for four now. 25 runs at 2.7 and over. You feel like we should have it in the bag, really. Close. Morgan's just wafted at one. He's out for 27. Chris Walks now comes to the crease. And he's just hit a terrific shot for four. We'll try and get uh, Ben Stokes' 100. That's four. This could be a run out. And it is. Stokes run out for 93. We need nine runs. Let's not throw this away, lads. Oh, that's a terrific shot from Adol Rashid. That's not. We've got three wickets in hand. Five wickets to get to win the series. My heart there. Three runs in three overs. Can we do it? Three runs from 12 balls. This is getting ridiculous. Wilkes gets one run at the start of that. Two runs to win here. That's another terrific delivery to Liam Punk. Ten balls remaining. <laughs> one run from eight, eight balls. Can we do it? Ah! From six balls now. Going to up the aggression. Oh, bro. They're running. They've done it. Well done, England. Oh, that was <laughs> a high-pressure situation right there. Oh, we've won that match by three wickets just in the in the nick of time. I was saying, you know, we can pace ourselves, but as soon as Ben Stokes got out, it, it sort of zapped the urgency out of our innings and, and we got very nervous. But uh, some nice performances in there. Ben Stokes, obviously, is is the highlight. Uh, and obviously, bowling-wise, Stuart Broad, absolutely terrific. Six for 31. And a, a good economy rate as well. And he actually gets man of the match, deservedly so, in my opinion. So, we've won the series, which is absolutely terrific. 3-2, we've come back from 2-1 behind. I've took your guys' advice on board, and we have smashed it, really. To win three limited overs matches out of five, you know, there is is really, really good. From where I was, um, you know, uh, before... Uh, it's incredible progress but uh, we will be playing uh, a 20 over match in the next episode if we have a little look at the uh, the, the, the world ratings right now so in tests we're, we're number six we have a lot of progress to make with that obviously I think we we lo did we lose the series against Pakistan we did one nil that is annoying um, to say the least but look at all the improvements that we can make uh, away from home. Uh, the ODI, we are actually top of. We're, we're on 31 points as opposed to Australia's 29. Uh, it'll be certainly in, interesting against India. Um, we're going to have to hold on to that 3-1 series victory there. Um, we must have lost... Did we? I didn't know we'd... Ah, oh, that's test. Hold on. Ah, so we lost to India last time out. So that... Is, is going to be a good one to try and turn over, and, and that'll help us sort of progress in uh, the, the ODI standings. And uh, if we look at the 20 over championship, we are currently 7th, so there's certainly a lot of improvement to be had there. Pakistan, interestingly, 
Um, the the best team in 20 overs. Um, how did we do again? So we, we actually won it last time, so we're going to need to win it again um, if we're to go on and uh, do that. But let me know down in the comments who plays 20 over cricket. Is it virtually the same as the, the ODI? I, I know some of the players that play there. I don't know uh, all of them, though. I'm guessing Stu Broad doesn't. He's going to be in the squad anyway, and I'm sure you guys will love that. But if you have enjoyed this episode, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.